it's five to six in the morning and I'm walking down to do my oh, to my plot tour pickle the uh um slugs and things out but I have an issue. I have an issue. I have an issue. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So there's the bungalow. Right, let's try this. It's not working. <laughs> Look at the happiest Larry. Where are you going? You can't come with me. I'm going to have to walk around the block and knock her up again. Alright, let's see if I can get away. Yeah, so it's uh, 6 a.m. Sunday morning. I managed to lose Pixels. Bless her little cotton socks. She just wants to explore and have a day out with Daddy. Bring your cat to the allotment day. Oh, get out. Ooh. It's early. I haven't shaved yet. I will have a shower and a shave. Uh, next video you see, I will be definitely shaving. Right, okay. So what am I doing down here this morning? I just found some of my sluggy friends. Uh, and now now swimming in the uh, the cesspit that has become the pond. Let me show you, hang on. You're the slugs swim, swimming. I'm just showing you how bad the pond looks at the moment. Yeah, it's, uh, it really does look stagnant at the moment. And this is the trouble when there's no rain, the water drops. It is a drainage pit after all, it's not a pond. Uh, the, the water drops level drops very quickly. And um, unfortunately all of the dirt and stuff doesn't go anywhere it just clicks and which is why it looks a bit scummy there's still lots of life in it there's still bubbles and things swimming around but of course i'm a bit worried that uh, if this year is going to be like last year it will dry up and we'll lose all that benefit the sooner i get this area dug out the better it won't be long i'll be starting it soon i'm not going to do it all at once as i said yesterday when i did these bins I um, still got to do that bit. Uh, I really overdid it, you know, uh, digging it all out, piling it all up. Really overdid it. As you see, this is the still only a few months into this uh, bin. Some of it's uh, broken down and looks great, but obviously there was an awful lot of woody stuff in there. So again, that'll take a few years to go down. But what I'll do is that as time goes by, I'll sieve it, use the best stuff for whatever I need it for, compost, mulch, seeds, uh, and then the rest will go back in the bins. This stuff, uh, the more cardboard, always more cardboard. Uh, this is my pet food cardboard. Pets at home. Uh, another very environmentally friendly company. Don't send out any plastics with their boxes at all. Uh, even the labels are paper, so well done for them. Right, so the leaf mould, again, it's breaking down, as you see. There's some very good first year leaf mould. This will make a lovely mulch during the late summer uh, when it gets really hot and dry. So uh, I'll, again, I'll sieve it um, and get it out on, as a mulch. Um, and because this ground, this soil, as you see, even though it's, uh, you know, it's just drying out, it's just fine, it's like powder. So I will need something on there to keep it as a water retention. Ah, still lots of stuff to put in. Uh, there is still a few bits at home, but not much. Um, some more marigolds, a couple of comfries. The things beginning with C, celery and celeriac. Some leeks, uh, some, uh, just a little bit of beetroot left. And some more shard, that's the bright light shard. A few parsnips a friend gave me. He's the one actually uh, mowing at the moment. He had a bad night as well. And uh, he's, um, you can't see him now, he's just gone round, but he's, he's mowing the lawn at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, and then uh, there's some more other bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's fennel. God, that fennel's shooting up. That need to go in. Yeah, so. Um, everything's looking good. I'm going to go back, finish my cup of tea, 
Today is going to be greenhouse morning. Well, I say today, this morning it's going to be greenhouse morning. I want to get the greenhouse sorted and all of the um, pots set up for the things I'm growing at home. So we'll do that today. Oh, let me show you this. Let me show you. Let me show you a nice smile to go away with. Look. Ooh, come down, come down, come down. Look. <laughs> Uh, ignore the rust, but look, beans, beans, beans. We got beans. These are broad beans. Oh, haven't seen any on the um. Uh, any beans on the um? These ones yet, but they'll come. They'll come. Plenty of time. Oh, casualty. Ooh, come on, up you come. Fun enough, they'll still they'll still keep going. Even if they lay down on the ground. I like my mom. <laughs> he says, call me a liar. Right. I don't think there's any beans here at the moment, but no. A little bit of white fly. Save things to come, maybe. All right. I'll see you guys later. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I've had coffee. Done me chores. Which is basically put a washing on and... Um, um, well, this is a nice little design. Uh, this is a power room um, greenhouse. If we, if you want to open the door, there's a little magnet at the bottom of this. Um, just here, see, little magnet. Oh. Uh, and when you open the door, it sits against the thing, so it actually holds the door in place, which is great. Right, so it's a bit of a mess in here at the moment. So what we're going to do. The table's coming out for the rest of the summer. Uh, it will go around the side of the bungalow and I'll cover it with a piece of plastic to protect it for the most part. It's an old table that was donated, so I'm not too fussed about it. Uh, I think it... <laughs> yeah, I'm not too fussed. Uh, then I'm actually going to take out two of these um, shelving units. These can go and stand in my bedroom. I'll give them a wipe down, a clean down. And they'll go and stand in the bedroom. And that will mean then I can take out the lower shelves of these uh, and put grow bags underneath for um, aubergines and peppers. So that'll be uh, a grow bag, grow bag, grow bag. I'll do that again. Grow bag, grow bag at that end. And grow bag for tomatoes. And then there'll be peppers and aubergines below and peppers on top because uh, I'll leave this rack in um, and you know because peppers aren't going to grow that big um, and the same on this side at the moment obviously we still have a row of stuff and the um, asparagus but at some point these will come out and they'll sit on the table around the corner to harden off before being actually planted in the ground give them a few more weeks of growth in here and then a hard enough um, period outside and then they'll be ready oh that one didn't make it or is it is it growing is it growing who knows yeah so and obviously i'll clean it all up all of the uh, these pots i'll fill up i've brought back birdies oh you got excited about the birdies didn't you i brought back a mixture of manure and soil from the allotment so I'll mix those up and I'll use those for the pots I, um, I did buy the grow bags this year uh, in future years I'm going to use my own compost and stuff but this year I'll grow grow bags uh, get it all tidied up cleaned up cut away all the pots can be um, packed away now there'll be a few more plantings out I want to see if I can find enough small pots to do these last of these uh, um, brussels and things she's chasing birds and flies where you gone where you gone bless her um but uh yeah a lot of this stuff will um be taken down the allotment and planted down there just in the soil to see what comes you're right oh, another fly she was just giving her worms right um and then we're going to tidy everything up all this has to be cut back this rocket's gone to seed so i'll cut that actually looks like 
a weed. Anyway, uh, it'll all be cut back and um, uh, to continue to to grow. Yeah, it's a, a lot of stuff I need to sort out here. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you see? What? What are you chasing now? I need to once I've emptied this lot. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, moldy. Right, once I've chased, uh, emptied this lot out and um, mixed it with this and put it into the pots, I'm going to take a big load of this compost down to carry on composting down at the allotment because it's just filling up. Right, that's today's jobs. So, uh, come. Oh, she's going to be a nuisance. So, first job would be to clear the table and um, start packing all the tray somewhere and then the next job would be to start dismantling those, or get those shelves uh yeah get the table out get those shelves out cut the grass and uh yeah make tidy 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 it's overcast today it's a weird old sky look at that weird old cloud in the sky but the sun should burn it off it actually looks darker than it is here it's actually quite a light cloud. Northerly wind, you can see the clouds moving slightly. Uh, currently 11 degrees, should warm up to about 15, 16 inside the greenhouse, a lot more. It's actually 15 in the greenhouse now. Um, so we'll see how uh, warm it gets, but uh, with the door open, I can just step outside. All good fun. Right, so this is the state of play. So I've moved one, uh, I've moved that one over there for the time being because I want to move these, but I've come across a uh, a problem. I've come across a tiny little problem. Hello, Toady. <laughs> Look at your little leggies. Ah, right, so, uh, yeah, because I want to put the, um, ah, problem. Think about it, all right, I'll be back. Okay, so I've just pulled out the grass, and what I'm going to do is I'll put this broken pot here to protect him, so he's got a little place to go hide, and um, I'm going to just use pots in there and uh, so he can um eat all my slugs i've found loads of slugs they're now all uh around him <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be one fat toady you know coming in she's eating this grass and i think she's doing it to make herself puke up because she's wolfing too much food down aren't you yeah well I, the other thing i did find is this chappy i don't know what he is if he's a flying beetle Huge. I mean, there's my finger against him, sir. As you see, he's pretty huge. He's, he's, and I've got fat fingers. I'm, I'm sure he could ride on um, Pixel's back. I'll, I'll, I'll pop him out. Look. Oh, she's seen it. What's that? Look. Pixels, what's this? What's this? And she's having a good explore. Don't eat the beetle. Don't eat the beetle. Anyway, yep, no more froggies or toads or newts. Um, at least I don't think so. I couldn't see any. I did pull it all up by hand. So there's a slug there. Mr. Toad, come over here and eat the slugs. Right, so I'm going to carry on. I'll get rid of the... Ooh, that bright green. Spider... Ugh. Right, I hate, I hate creatures. <laughs> right, let's get rid of you first of all. Let's put you on here. Yeah, can we get up there? Yeah. Oop, hang on. Oop, 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 oop. Fat boy, fat boy. He's falling over. There we go. Up you go. There we go. Let's put you into the bush. I bet you've got wings. Fly away, fly away. That's a delicate. Uh, now I better put you down on the ground so that in case you don't have wings. There we go. Enjoy. Right, I'm going to carry on. 
Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, I'm going to carry on sorting this out. Get the grow bags in and in place. Sort out which tomatoes I want to put in there. Oh, oh, we got trouble. We got trouble. Ah, she's getting better. Normally she would just snarl and chase her. Yeah, good girl. Clever girl. Look at all cocky. You know when she's angry, her tail goes up and it fluffs out. Yeah? Cocky girl. Right, back to work. So here's the grow bags in situ. Um, there's two types. So these three came from Lidl's, £2.50 each, I think. 27 litres. Uh, all peat free. Uh, these one, these two came from Morrison's, two for six pound. Uh, these have far more in than the other ones. Um, does it say how much? Does it say how much in here? Can't see anywhere that says how much volume is in here. But, uh, as you see, the, these ones have a lot more in. I'd say these have about 40 litres in. Maybe 30 to 40. Now, here's the thing. See, uh, Westerns give you this nice little areas to cut out. You lay them flat, you cut them out. Um, and do that. These, these ones don't. Here's a thought for you. When you lay them flat, you know, like this. <sighs> lay them flat. And you do this the tomatoes or whatever sit in there and they have that much soil to actually get, uh, get from so what happens is the roots spread out if you lay them on the side and um, cut the, through them here then they have that much soil to actually dig down into um, and that can help the stability of them when you actually uh, grow up so that's how i'm going to do it i'm going to cut little holes in the top uh, and don't forget always water the soil not the tomato um, they don't like their feet wet at night right uh yeah so that's it now I, what i'm going to do now select what i'm going to put in them uh these this is going to be the cucumber corner a couple of cucumbers there um and then tomatoes are on there and as i said before chilies and aubergines in here that should be fine if i've got any dwarf um, tomatoes i might grow them in here as well i don't know yet but i'm going to definitely put them in pots for, uh, for the other ones uh, when i've tidied up this area a lot of these pots will be full and they'll be laid out over here um so that I can actually grow them out here as well. That'd be like two lines of pots of tomatoes and things. Right, I'm done. I'm going to have a coffee. And then I'm going to do some sorting. Get some stuff sorted. And this is what we have. So these are all the herbs ready to go down or join those ones. I'm going to bring those ones over here as well. I'm going to dig in some more tomato plants there I think. Because I've got so many left over. She's following me everywhere. Do you want to go in? Do you want to go in? Go on. Bye. Bye. Toe punter in. Oh. Oh. Go on. In you go. No, that means you can try and follow me down to Louis. Lot then. That's great. So there's the ones that I'm going to grow in pots. Again, this is a mixture of poo, uh, horse poo and um, soil from the allotments. Uh, I need to trim all this back. This is all my cut and come again stuff um yeah so over here we have all the stuff that needs sorting but i've run out of compost i've only got a tad a uh, little bit of compost left so there's some brassicas left these probably won't get used for anything i'll try and ask around on the allotment if anybody wants it these have to go down the allotment that's a, a cute outdoor cucumber and some okra this is all needs replant oh cat uh and these are just some other stuff that don't even need to be talked about. I keep on thinking I've got um, somebody over there that's such a my washing. Right, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it won't stay like this, of course. These trays will go. Uh, and they, 
peppers underneath to really grow up. Right, and the peppers underneath will grow up to yay high. And again here, these will go and these um, peppers and aubergines will grow up to yay high. And um, even further if needs be. Uh, cucumbers, tomatoes. Uh, these is all the stuff that's got to go down to the allotment at some point. Underneath more aubergines. Uh, Toadie's gone, he's probably hiding underneath one of these grow bags. But as long as he's safe and, and wet. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is all stuff that uh, I need to decide what to do with. This tray again will be growing up on this one. This is the polytunnel uh, selection of um, tomatoes. So there's lots of different ones here. Um, yeah, all good stuff. All ready to go down. And again, what I'll do is um, I'll plant so, uh, a lot of stuff in the polytunnel. The tomatoes, the peppers um yeah lots of peppers and chilies uh, actually i don't know how many chilies i've got left over no oh, yeah there's a few chilies left over um and but i'll also plant some tomatoes outside as well to just to grow in the soil down at the allotment as well yeah lots and lots and again what i'll do what i'll do is um is uh, uh, mush up a lot of the tomatoes to make the passata and uh, just a tomato juice which I'll put into oh uh, crushed banana, uh, tomato chopped tomatoes which I'll put into um, stews and curries and stuff and I'll keep it in the freezer right oh, what's that oh, bit of plastic okay are you ready what are you doing She's jealous. She wants, she wants to play, and of course, I need to get on. So I'm exhausted. It's only just like one o'clock now, and I'm exhausted after doing all that. Cleaning up, tidy, and lugging stuff around. But I'm going to walk down to Lotman now uh, and just have a quick tidy up and make sure that everything's all right down there. Pleased with it? I am. Yep. I just run out of uh, compost again. So much compost. Good morning. It's. Friday the 26th of May, temperature is a beautiful 15 degrees, even more in the sun I'm sure. Um, this is my first day down on the plot since Sunday, the five days from this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I've, I've been poorly, I've, I've been in bed. Uh, I don't know what it was, or what it is, because I'm still not 100%. But uh, time is pressing on and the weeds are getting very high. I mean, you only have to look at this bed here oh, to see the, uh, the ground cover um, of um, weeds that are growing. Um, yeah, so no six. Wonder what that was. So we called, but there we go. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Saturday morning. And we're on the allotment again. What a surprise. My hair's getting long. I need to cut in. It seems like just a, a week or so ago that uh, it was cut. Or maybe it was just a week or so ago. Um, yeah, so I'm down on the allotment again. I'm feeling not 100% but uh, the weeds are getting ever higher. Uh, what I'm going to do today is... Hang on, look, look, let me show you something. Oh, no, I can probably do this. Look. Wellington boots today. Yeah, I'm going to do the pond. Let me turn you around. So I'm going to have a, a, an attack of the pond. Um, unfortunately, the pond, like everything else, just wants to run away and do weeds. It is so low now. It is so low. Look at all the activity in that water. See the little ripples everywhere. Because it's so low now. All the, all the life is concentrating there. You can't see it. This. Uh, a solution but what I want to do is this this wall so what I'm going to walk do is walk around with the secateurs and my nice thick um, gloves grab all the brambles and uh, stinging nettles get rid of those and then I'm going to go around with the strimmer and just give the uh, uh, a good strim over and then I might actually pop around with some 
uh, seeds, and I'll show you what I mean by that later on. But yeah, pond definitely needs a rainfall, doesn't it? I, I'll, I'll pull out any weeds and junk that I see in there. At the, uh, trouble is, the silt is actually quite deep. It may just look like it's uh, you know laying there as a pond floor, but that's actually about two foot of silt. Uh, definitely deep enough to go over my boots in uh, along this bank. But yeah, not good. I'll go and dig it out. <laughs> I'll just pile it up somewhere. <laughs> just a random location for 5,000 tonnes of silt. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, so good morning. Sa uh, Saturday morning, about nine o'clock. Nobody else on the allotment, I don't think. Oh, there might be one person in that corner. But nobody else on the allotment. Temperature is a mild 10 degrees at the moment, but the sun's out, it is going to get warm. And we'll see how we get on. Uh, I'm, I'm not showing you too much of what I'm doing at the moment because it's nearly the end of the month. It's only a couple more days to the end of the month. So I'll, uh, I'll do a plot tour. But I have done more planting because none of that actually grew. They all germinated. Uh, more planting. More planting. And more planting. So, yeah. Um... I'll show you more and then give go into detail later on. That's it for now. Oh, right, and I've done the first round. I did fall over. Uh, it's so sticky in now, I fell over and I landed on my phone against the um, concreted wall. And uh, I took it out and all this screen looks cracked and everything, but, and I swear and cursing and, and then I realised that it was just a screen protector that's cracked. So I am so grateful to the manufacturers because they protected my screen. I will go and buy a um, new one of the exact same type. Thank you, screen protector. Right, um, let me show you what I've done. So... Keep looking at this crack on the screen thinking oh my god um yeah so I, I don't know if you can see that well can i i've uh, cut most of the um brambles off and weeds and things i'm gonna give it a strim now get rid of all the grass and stuff that's grown in there if you're asking why i'm doing this and you know it's because first of all i just want the pond to look nice secondly the weeds that are growing in there are destructive. They're, they're breaking up the concrete, their roots. Uh, it will deteriorate, uh, you know, and the council just hasn't got that sort of money to, to deal with that type of thing. I am being bitten to death because I was, um, I, I rested my backside because I was unsteady uh, against the wall. Uh, and then when I looked down, my whole leg was covered in red ants. So I'm being bitten to death. Oh, I hate red ants. So yeah, right, streaming. And a final result. Lots of lovely moss. Birds are singing, that's lovely. The pond is looking a bit worse for wear. Oh look, little birdies. Birdies having drinkies. Bye bye, birdie. Oh, there's another one. Wagtails. See its tail bobbing up and down. Big giveaway for your wagtail. And definitely movement in that pond, not from the wind. But oh, look, see? Ripples. shame when it has to dry out. I have to get my pond underway. I've just spotted the uh, on this hawthorn. It's amazing. The entire tree is just blossomed. The birds will be pleased. Lots of berries this year.
six o'clock Sunday morning. It's it's a chilly one. It's only about seven degrees. So after uh, like the 15, 16 degrees temperatures the last couple of days, it's uh, it's quite chilly. The pond is looking really sorry for itself. Let me show you. Just a little patch of water left in the centre. Uh, it's full of life. Things moving around there all the time. I do hope that we get some rain soon. There's none forecast. Um, frogs and toads and things like that would. Oh, you can see them actually desperate there. Uh, they'll um. They'll survive by sort of slipping into the mud and, and, and doing their thing. But yeah, it's 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 not good. We need rain. That's what I'm down here at the morning. I'm going to sprinkle some um, water on the seedlings that I've transplanted onto the uh, bed of the um, the pond, the sides of the pond here. I mean, the seeds are taken, but you can see that there's still a lot of yellow amongst them uh, they, they need they, they need constant attention at the moment until they're established these irises are beginning to flower the ones I was given for the, the actual pond are doing so well it'd be an awful shame if we didn't have water for them to continue yeah. so is it looking good right I'm going to do some watering early morning travellers on a Sunday morning uh, we've lost another uh, squash. There's one there and one there that have disappeared. That's a shame. But we've got plenty of others, so at the moment we're looking okay. I shall get on with this. Uh, That's all I'm going to do this morning. I'll come back down. There's other things I want to do. Look at the birds around this morning. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it here in the morning. Quiet, you're alone. Peace. Have a quick weed around here later today, maybe. Get the hoe out. As you see from the darker colour, I watered this last night. Birdies. Right. That's it. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>